Hi, I'm Dave Landsman, Director of Industry Standards at Western Digital Corporation. The SNEA Storage Developer Conference is coming on September 28th and 29th, and I want to talk to you about a great track at the conference, the DNA Data Storage Track. I'm speaking here on behalf of the DNA Data Storage Alliance. The Alliance was formed in October 2020 by Twist Bioscience, Microsoft, Illumina, and Western Digital, and it now includes over 35 member organizations. The mission of the DNA Storage Alliance is to create an interoperable storage ecosystem based on manufactured DNA as a storage medium. We believe that an incredibly dense storage medium like DNA is needed to complement existing storage technologies and thus serve the breathtakingly rapid growth of digital information in today's world. We're very excited to have nine Alliance member organizations participating in this track. Before I describe the track, let me briefly talk about what DNA data storage is. First, DNA data storage does not mean storing my music collection in my dog. In fact, DNA as a data storage medium does not require the use of or result in the creation of cells, organisms, or any other form of life. The concept of DNA data storage is fairly straightforward. The information content in a DNA molecule is carried by four chemical bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, or as they're referred to, A, T, C, and G. In a living organism, the sequence of chemical bases in DNA encodes information about what that organism is. But when using DNA as a data storage medium, a molecule of DNA is simply a sequence of the bases A, T, C, and G. Due to decades of advances in medical and scientific DNA applications, strands of DNA can now be synthesized, i.e. written, base by base in arbitrary order. DNA strands can also be sequenced, i.e. read, base by base. Thus, if we define a mapping of ones and zeros to each type of base, for example, 0, 0 equals A, 0, 1 equals T, et cetera, it is now possible to read a string of bits in a file and translate that string to a strand of DNA with the corresponding bases. Later, we can read back the sequence of bases from the manufactured DNA and translate the sequence of bases back to the original bits. Easy, right? Okay, it's not that easy, uh, quite far from it. But that said, it can be done. Twist Biosciences stored the first episode of a Netflix series called Biohackers into DNA. Microsoft, the University of Washington, and Twist Biosciences collaborated to store one gigabyte of mixed video, audio, and text into DNA. And the company Catalog stored the full English text version of Wikipedia into DNA, approximately 16 gigabytes of data. So while the current speed and cost of of storing and reading digital data in DNA is many orders of magnitude away from where it must be to enable a viable DNA-based storage system, the science is progressing rapidly. The Molecular Information Storage Program at IARPA has projected synthesis costs dropping to $1 per terabyte by 2030, and sequencing costs are similarly, similarly trending downward. So what was once science fiction is starting to lose the fiction part. The DNA data storage track on day one of STC will give you a sampling of the issues being addressed in industry, academia, and government labs towards the goal of enabling DNA data storage. Microsoft and the University of Washington will outline the overall DNA data storage pipeline as an end-to-end -end system. The following talks will highlight specific stages of the pipeline. Los Alamos Labs will discuss a DNA encoder. Twist Bioscience will discuss the scaling of DNA synthesis using semiconductors. Imogene will describe ways to preserve DNA-based data. The University of North Carolina will present methods enabling random access to a DNA archive. And Illumina will review advances in DNA sequencing. On day two of STC, representatives of the DNA Data Storage Alliance will participate in a panel discussion on what DNA data storage is, why we need it, and the challenges to making it commercially viable. Please see the STC program for details on the DNA data storage track and our speakers. We, look, we really look forward to seeing you at STC on the 28th and 29th of September. Please save the date, check out the agenda, 
and register for STC at storagedeveloper.org. Thank you.